Hi everyone, in this short tutorial we're going to take a look at staggered laps in Revit 2022. So this is what we're trying to achieve, you can see that we've got one rebar set here and in fact I've actually hidden off um, most of the rebars and just showed the two rebars here and you can see we can tag this and detail it and achieve a staggered lap. Let's have a look at the process of doing that. So first I'll create the rebar, so we'll click on the rebar tool. In this example, I'm going to use the new feature of uh, buy two points. I'm going to put this on the bottom face of the slab and I'm going to have a horizontal arrangement of bar. You can see I'm placing out a straight bar and my maximum spacing is set to 250. So let's place our first bar. And here I'm looking for about 10 meters uh, just for a piece of stock length in there. So we'll get uh, 10 meters, something like that. OK, now I want to create the stagger. So I can select the range of rebar here and you'll notice that we have edit bars up here. So let's select edit bars and what I can do here is go ahead and select the bars that I'd like to stagger. So I'll go through and select those now. Okay, so there are the bars selected. Then we can go to the move tool and in here we can move this by uh, a standard lap so in this case I'm going to use a calculation so we'll say 40 multiplied by 12 and you can see now we have that stagger in there so now I can finish the move operation and here we just want to show two rebars that we can tag so here we can just go to the presentation tool we'll select none and then pick two rebars that we'd like to display and now we can go ahead and select these rebars and I'm just going to use my shared parameter here and we'll just put in staggered but obviously here you could put that into comments or another shared parameter of your choice and then finally we'll go to the annotate ribbon and we'll use our multi rebar annotation to detail this okay so there's our range indicator placed out and of course we can place out our tag and then I'll just uh, straighten that tag up there and there we are you can see that we've used the new tools in Revit 2022 to produce a staggered lap Hope you found that useful and speak to you soon.